So what options do you have about working with a conveyancer? So you've got really two options. One is working with a local conveyancer or you can work with an online portal such as broker conveyancing. So what about going local? Well, you need to look at, is it a local brand that your clients will know and trust? Can you walk in there? If there's something urgent that you need sorting out, you need to make sure that they work to the same service levels and standard as you do. And do they share the same values? Could they refer back to you? So is there a reciprocal business there? What are their average costs and what are you going to receive for referring business to them? So what about an online portal or an online conveyancer? Well, with an online portal, you've got a choice of conveyancers, which means that at the point of instruction, you can sort of see what the workload is like for each of those conveyancers that are on there. You can sort of see what their service levels are like. And the other benefit as well is that you've not got your eggs all in one basket so you can choose who you want to work with based on each case that you're looking to place. You also need to know as well what your referral income is going to be. With regards to working with a conveyancer, my suggestion would be do your research, make sure that you're working with somebody that is a known brand and somebody that you can trust because the last thing that you need is you're going to deliver this fantastic first class service however it's let down by the conveyancer because you've referred your client to that conveyancer it will reflect on you you need to make sure it's a positive reflection and not a negative one thank you for watching and if you have any questions you would like answering in the world of mortgage broken please like this video and add your question to the comments